Getting rich during a recession is tricky, but what man has it down perfectly? Warren Buffett, an American investor and business magnate, are widely regarded as one of the world's most successful investors. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll show you how to profit from a recession. To our supporters, we would love to serve the community by creating an open discussion on macroeconomics. Hence, do like, subscribe, and comment on this video. Without further ado, let's dive in. Buffett, who has a net worth of $117 billion, has historically based his investment philosophy on the concept of value investing. Value investing is an investment strategy that involves purchasing stocks that are trading for less than their book value. Buffett's commitment to value investing and his steadfast frugality despite his wealth are just two of the more notable characteristics that make him an enigma. While his investments may appear to be insurmountably complex, Buffett adheres to a simple ideology that has led to his consistent success. The basic ideas of investing are to look at stocks as business, use the market's fluctuations to your advantage, and seek a margin of safety. A hundred years from now, they will still be the cornerstones of investing. Buffett, who was born in Omaha, Nebraska, was preoccupied with money from a young age. At the age of seven, he read a book titled 1,000 Ways to Make $1,000, which sparked his desire to enter the business world and become an entrepreneur. Selling weekly magazines, chewing gum, and Coca-Cola bottles was one of his first profitable ventures. He visited the New York Stock Exchange for the first time at the age of 10, still hungry for more. He made his first investment just one year later. In 1942, three shares of Citi's Service Preferred were worth $114.75. Buffett calculated that his initial investment would have been today if he had invested in a no-fee S&P 500 index fund with all dividends reinvested. According to Buffett, the stake would have been worth 606811 pre-tax on January 31st, 2019. That is a 5288 gain for one. Meanwhile, a $1 investment made at the time by a tax-free institution, such as a pension fund or college endowment, would have grown by approximately $5.3 billion. Despite the fact that the index fund was not invented until 1975, Buffett made $53,000 by the age of 16. Buffett believes that reading is the key to his success and spends the majority of his time doing so. He once famously pointed to a stack of books and gave the priceless advice, read 500 pages like this every day. That is how knowledge operates. It accumulates like compound interest. By seeking out new knowledge from greats like Buffett, you can begin to deeply understand the market and make more confident investments. Risk comes from not knowing what you're doing. With the top secret advice of investors who followed in Buffett's footsteps, this is how to invest confidently and profit during a recession. Understand that the markets will recover. Warren Buffett is famous for saying be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. Since 1968, he made mind-boggling compounded returns of 20% per year, proving that this principle holds true. However, when the market is volatile, it is simple to hedge your bets. It's easier said than done, but every crisis can be turned into an opportunity. Recognize that markets always recover. How do you become greedy enough to invest in the market when everyone else panics, sells, when markets are falling, and everyone is afraid? The secret is to remember that markets always recover. It occurred following the 2008 global financial crisis when the S&P 500 fell by 37% in 2008. The S&P 500 returned 26.46% the following year. The same holds true even during the Great Depression, according to data dating back 91 years. Recessions have produced more millionaires than the lottery. That's because everything is on sale during the recession. Are you courageous enough to be greedy when everyone else is fearful? Keep track of market trends. Keeping an eye on market trends is essential for developing a successful investment strategy. Marketing, sales, and automation are always present in every business. As a result, we must examine what business trends are occurring that can improve these processes. Google is used by everyone, and everything typed into Google can be tracked. That means you can examine trends using the data. 
The first step is to research your market and identify your niche. Broad niche, micro niche, and nano niche are three types of niches. A nano niche is where the most money is made. A doctor's salary may be 60,000 pounds, but a brain surgeon's salary may be around 300,000 pounds. This is due to the fact that the brain surgeon is a nano niche. You must use software to find your own niche. Everyone was selling their home in 2008, so everyone went to Google and typed in sell my property quickly or sell my house London. The key point is that timing is everything and the market is currently turning. In real estate, there is a boom, a retraction, a recession, and a recovery. These are the four timing stages. So we're now in a period of retraction followed by a period of recession. That is where the opportunities are found. You sell when everyone else is buying. One such opportunist viewpoint is even embedded in some of the Chinese characters themselves. There is an opportunity in every crisis. There is a phrase in Chinese called Wi Ji, which means crisis. However, the Chinese phrase is made up of two characters, one that means danger and the other that means opportunity. That means that there is an opportunity in every crisis. Priority should be given to quickly resolving people's problems. In times of crisis, people and speed are critical to making a lot of money. Serve others, solve problems, and accelerate when others are slowing down and your leadership will pave the way to your profit. That is the reality. People will always pay you when you're worth if you're focused on problem solving for others with speed and creativity. Say yes in a crisis. Do more good than anyone else and you will never go hungry. People put off plans to renovate or extend their properties in the same way that sales of new cars, kitchens, and the like dry up during a recession. Allied trades and builders such as carpenters and plumbers face a labor shortage and building materials prices fall as well. In other words, if you've got the cash and need some construction work done, a recession could be a great time to get a good deal. It's not taking advantage. It's providing work at a time when there may not be much available to people who are grateful for it. Airlines, hotels, and other travel-related businesses all have two things in common. They charge what the market will bear, and their capacity comes in big, awkward lumps. You can't make an airplane shorter because fewer people will want to sit in it, and you can't remove a floor from a hotel because fewer people want to stay there. What you can do, and what the owners of such businesses do, is lower prices to generate whatever revenue they can to help defray the fixed cost that they face. In short, if you have the money, a recession is a great time to take a long-distance vacation or otherwise difficult-to-afford travel. Even better, you don't always have to part with cash. It's all well and good to declare that inflation is unavoidable. The real question for many investors, however, is how to position their portfolios for prolonged inflation. To begin, it's important to remember that economic cycles are simply part of a long investing career. It is secondary whether or not inflation is the cause of a sell-off. The most important takeaways is that a bear market can create life-changing wealth for investors and companies with bright futures, positive cash flows, and long-term balance sheets. What Berkshire is demonstrating through its actions is a renewed buying appetite that we haven't seen in years, indicating that Berkshire is looking for value primarily in the energy sector. Overall, Buffett's actions show that Berkshire Hathaway is finding more value in the market than it has in years. But Berkshire isn't just buying a stock at a discount. It buys companies that either contribute to inflation or have relatively consistent cash flows and low valuations. Sticking with unstoppable stocks you'll want in your corner if the market crashes can be a great way to sleep well at night and endure the rigors of a bear market for investors who don't manage billions of dollars in assets. We hope that all the information that you have gained by watching this video will help you to ride out the upcoming recession and will make you a millionaire. With this, we have come to an end. The content in this video is for educational purposes only and hence should not be considered financial advice. All the financial decisions should be made after doing your wide spectrum research. If you find this info helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more. It would mean much to us and it also encourages us to produce more valuable content for y'all. If you have a specific topic you'd like to learn, please leave us a comment below and we'll work on it for you. Until then.